now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. So at the beginning of the week, Michelle said, just be patient when it was rainy and dark and cloudy. Nasty. You said, just wait, because at the end of the week, you're going to be really happy. And you are. I'm I really can happy. see it. This is a guy who has visions of the golf course, the beach, maybe his neighbor's pool, all on the mind for this weekend, right? Sounds like you've got my weekend <laughs> plan. Yeah, well, a lot of people planning on spending the weekend out, outdoors, I'm sure, especially as the heat cranks up, and that's going to happen by the end of the weekend. Very comfortable out there right now. There's no rain on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. These temperatures are actually running a little bit below average. We're in the low 70s right now, North Bay Manor and Smithfield, 72 East Bay Manor and East Providence, lower 70s, Seconet Bay Manor and Tiverton, as well as in Bank Newport. And our weather spotters finding similar temperatures around uh, 70 to 75, bright sunshine and comfortable, clear and beautiful from Brad and Cumberland. And just say Armand and Kim uh, from Pawtucket. It's not Armand, uh, but he says it is very nice out there. He's looking forward to the weekend. This afternoon, very pleasant dry with sunshine, about 76 to 80 for those afternoon temperatures. And our future cast starting at 2 o'clock showing all of that sunshine. We head into the second half of the day. Uh, overall skies are mostly clear. This particular computer model showing just a few passing clouds, but uh, we are going to see another cool night and a cool start tomorrow morning. Now, temperatures should warm quickly tomorrow, and instead of being in the 70s at this time, will likely be around 80 by noontime and topping out in the afternoon around 2-3 o'clock in the lower 80s under, as you can see, mostly sunny skies. And that'll be sticking around into your Saturday evening. So water fire Saturday night, boy, perfect night for it here in the late summer with the humidity still fairly low. So some of our metro area will have the opportunity to climb up into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees, while the East Bay will be coming in around 78 in Barrington. 80 at Garden City. Along the south coast, we've got that northwesterly wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So even here at the shore, upper 70s, about 77 in Jamestown. Northern Rhode Island, dry and comfortable with lots of sunshine in Woonsocket and Greenville. And Middletown, your high is going to come in at around 78. A few spots making it to 80 in uh, northern Bristol County, Swansea. Westport, you're going to be at about 77. Tonight, down to 54 to 59, clear, comfortable and those moonlit skies. So the beaches this weekend, great beach weather. Use a little bit of extra caution though if you still are going to go swimming because there's a higher risk of rip currents starting this weekend uh, from actually Hurricane Danielle. Warm and sunny both days. Now Danielle's still well out to sea. It's not expected to come anywhere near us. We can see how active the tropics are now. We've got three systems out there. This one hasn't been classified, but likely over the weekend could become a tropical depression or even possibly tropical storm Fiona. Danielle, right now, a Category 4 hurricane. Look at the eye on that storm system. Pretty well defined there. It has winds of 132 miles per hour. Like to see this. It's a turn away from land, but again, some of the swells start reaching the coastline as early as tomorrow. Earl, taking a more of a westerly and southerly track here. This is a system still way too far out to see what kind of impact it could possibly have on the U.S., but it's something that we'll watch as it is forecasted to become a major hurricane by next week. Winds of 46 miles per hour right now. So your seven-day future cast coming in at about 78 today. Then watch how the temperatures build. 83 Saturday, 93 on Sunday. We could not only see a three-day stretch of 90 or higher, which would make it a heat wave, but possibly a five-day stretch where the temperatures each afternoon, and we're talking away from the coastline, climb at or above 90. You can get your updated future cast 24 hours a day on the Pinpoint Weather Station, Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. So right back into that midsummer heat. Nice.